Steve, we're seeing the rise of comfy, cozy survival games lately, and here we are with I Am Future, and dude, it's comfy, it's cozy, it's chill, and I'm having a good time. I Am Future is a unique experience. We've been able to get into this for quite some time now, and what we've been able to get access to is just the beginning, dude. This is set up the story, and we're kind of just waking up from this Cairo state, like where you've been sleeping forever, right? We wake up and then all of a sudden the world just kind of gone in this apocalyptic state of, you know, mayhem, but there's no survivors. There's a couple of robots kicking around and that's kind of set you up and you were there to go craft, survive. And that's, yep. you, we've done a lot of survival games here on the show. This one's a little bit different in the fact that your biggest enemy are these like night crawlers, more or less, yeah. and they don't really, attack you at all you pick them up and they hurt you but your other biggest survival element is starvation because you need to be able to craft your foods materials and stuff to eat but that's really it it is even when you're starving to death steve you just kind of like pass out and come back <laughs> i was like all right i was gonna cool. say very forgiving very <laughs> forgiving in this one absolutely dude i've been having a great time in this this is i've reached a point though where you get in this state of okay I need to now be in the right frame of mind, I think, to get in further. I'm having a good time, but it's not one of those like, man, I need to go play that. I need to go play more of that. It's kind of like, you know what? I want to chill out for like the next hour. I'm going to go off and I am my future character. And then away we go and unlock other areas and craft materials and then go look to see what other materials I'm going to need. Because there's a lot of fetching and needing and <laughs> requesting to yeah. go get crafting material to then to access other areas dude those areas i've already unlocked i was like yo this is impressive and the art style okay okay i gotta stop steve i gotta stop <laughs> you, you got it's your turn man let me know let me know what do you think i have future i love this so far yep i really enjoying this game and you're just about to talk about the art style it kind of reminds me of like the cartoonish of like the early fortnite graphics used to be very yeah. bold colorful everything stands out really good there's not too much controls in this one it's just uh wasd uh r and e as to or q and e as to rotate your camera and then it's just use your mouse really to interact with stuff yeah as we said before not survival games you you run out of you die from starvation not enough food and you have to start at the beginning or go to find out where you last died to pick up all your belongings yeah like you said this one here you just pass out and you wake up <laughs> gives you a little bit of health and then off you go yeah. the other good thing as well is there's plenty of bushes around for berries and stuff to keep you ticking over until you actually get that campfire get a bit more ingredients and you can make your salads and your soups but obviously the main priority is like you said is food and everything's crafted get those bed boxes get your seeds planted yeah Go all the way down to the the lake get uh get in the lift to go down do some mm. fishing get some salt water bring it up put it on boiling water so there's a lot of that going on and like you said the night time all you've got is some like leeches or worms yeah. that go around and try and eat your plants you can craft a torch to stop them off but this area is very small but the amount of stuff you end up chopping down there's yeah. plenty of resources on this skyscraper rooftop. Yeah. It's funny how empty the world was, but yet it's still littered with resources, right? Like, there's, it's a dire situation, kind of. But at the end of the day, there's material everywhere. I'm like, yo, I think everybody in the whole world just dumped everything on top of this skyscraper roof and says, here you go. This is how you can survive. And this is when it gets into that comfy, cozy feeling, right? Because you aren't going, okay, man, I only have so much time left. I got to go get this done or I need to get this done. It is, uh, I'm going to set out here and I'm going to go this way. And then I'm going to explore over on this side of stuff. Realize I need, I hit a wall. I need to kind of come up with some nails. I need some more wood. I then need to get some metal to build this railing and stuff like that. And then you set out and you expand into this other area. And when it opens up, you're like, cool. Now I'm off to explore a whole other area. And that's the exciting part is really moving forward to see what else can I explore. Oh, exactly. And I noticed as well, when you stop upgrading you like your workbench and stuff like that, yeah. then it unlocks other stuff you can craft. Yep. Because I'm stuck at one point now, you need now a metal press to create like a roof to do the bridge. Yeah. But obviously you have to get certain bits. And I do like the <laughs> way as well you can pick up uh, kettles and then you can actually break it down and strip all the components down in those to put in your inventory 
which I will say doesn't take long to fill up. No. Because uh, apart from crafting storage boxes, you have Earl, who's a talking fridge, that so you can store <laughs> stuff in there as well. Yeah. And there's other bits and pieces, but one thing I did notice is the areas you unlock, because there's so much woods and sheet metal and scrap metal, is craft storage places and get your stuff up and running as quick as possible so you can complete these tasks. No, absolutely. There's one thing that I really wish they would implement is the controller setting. Bring in a controller functionality. Hopefully this is early access. So this is probably something that's going to be planned for later on. But that would be a nice little touch to bring in. Because, dude, I would love to sit back and chill out with my controller. Instead of having to use the WASD in, in my mouse, right? It is definitely built right now for the mouse and keys. But not so much for the controller side of it. If they can implement that and then bring it to console. Yo, dude, I am like right down for that. Steve, like we said, dude, this is early access. This is a comfy, cozy survival game. This is cool. I am definitely recommending this. They can just implement a controller schematic. Yo, I am so hooked in this for a long time ahead. I can't wait to see what else we can explore. I've been having a great time, man. What about you? Yep, I'm definitely giving this a recommend as well. I found the audio music, the background music, helps with the relax and the chill out as well. <laughs> and it didn't seem as like the... The revival as well when you die of like we mentioned before is more forgiving in this game and i am looking forward to explore more areas of this skyscraper rooftop yeah. Yay! Yeah. 